Hi friends, in this video we are going ahead and we will look into the common diagnostic process which we involve in proxy plugin. So proxy plugins are used when we are uh, using a web server or a load balancer in front of our uh, application server. So the, uh, your, the load balancer or your web server can be iPlanet, Apache, IIS. Based on that you need a uh, module, module WLSO file based on the uh, proxy plugin which you are using web server which you are using so in some cases say if you are, are getting some problem then in that case you have to enable few logs at the uh, proxy plugin or your web server level so um, you may have seen some uh, issues like un uneven load balancing of http requests some of the managed servers are getting more requests and someone or uh, some of them are getting less requests and frequent or un frequently or unexpected session failover so from one server it is going to the second server even though the servers are up and running so and you may also see that uh, you are getting the the application is returning you 400 404 500 and 503 error code so in order to identify where the problem is, what the problem is, you have to uh, ha enable some of the debugs at the proxy plugin level. So whenever uh, we, uh, we do the configuration at the Apache or uh, web server level, you have to use debug hyphen all. So if you enable this uh, property, then it will start uh, writing complete logs uh, in the uh, file uh, and then you will be able to identify where the problem is and uh, and then you can resolve that particular problem the another way is you can use uh, another flag debug config info on so this if you if you enable this uh, flag in your uh, configuration then in that case uh, we'll be able to see the config bridge so uh, or if you make these configuration changes in your uh, web server configuration then you have to restart your web server whichever you are using so you can see here the configuration wise we have to uh, you have location handler slash messaging and this is how you can do the configuration so here you can see debug all, all uh, it has been included and debug config info on has been included and wl log file is so this is the log file where the all these information will be written so for messaging this log file will be created wl proxy one dot log and uh, in the same case i have three applications so browse store uh, all these information are there and the log file is wl proxy zero two and for my in memory in memory replication client zero three log file will be created so you are so this option you should enable when you are doing a debug of your some of the issues which you are facing so in that case only you should enable this otherwise it will start writing a lot of logs and you will uh, you have to maintain logs in your system by deleting deleting them so uh, enable these uh, uh, debug flag in case you find some issues and you want to debug that particular issue so now once uh, you have enabled these and restarted your web server if and you are facing those issues then in that case you have to s analyze this proxy log files so in this log file will have a complete information about uh, uh, the request how the request came in what is the session cookie or the header which was set by the web server and then connecting to the web logic server node forwarding the request reading the, the response from web logic server and writing back the response to the client so the complete information will be there inside the inside your proxy log file which you can analyze and understand and uh, and if there is any issues then in that case uh, the proxy log file will write it down so you can see here and uh, if any request comes in you will get the new request and it is a get uh, type of and it is asking for messaging uh, application then a few other validation is done and then the uh, cookie is being set if it is already been set then uh, the same cookie will be used like if the request from the same application is coming as uh, from the same browser is coming the same cookie will be sent each every time so that uh, the same managed servers uh, uh, handles that request and uh, and uh, so you can see uh, here it is uh, it is uh, writing this is uh, to the 
to the web server from client so you can see a complete information now the the client from now the web server is sending this request to the web logic server and then you in the last you can see uh, hrds from web logic so web logic is now sending back the response to this particular web server and at last you can see the web server is sending the response back to the client so the complete uh, flow of your uh, uh, application will be listed down here if you see any issues that will also be listed down here in this proxy logs so this is a very important logs to be enabled in order to uh, to find out where the problem is and why the application is giving you those uh, error code 500 400 uh, series and uh, and if it is there is an event so this logs is really very powerful and it has a complete information about each of the request which you have made so you can see once the request has been successfully processed you will see this request messaging process successfully so this is only for first first request or any first any request which comes in so in the same way if if you hit it from another browser or if another client hits in then in that case also the again this series will start writing so for one request these many logs will be written if there is any issues you will be able to identify it in this proxy logs so if you enable this proxy uh, bridge info then in that case you will be able to see this type of page in that case you can use the ip address and the application name and then question mark uh, underscore underscore web logic bridge config so if you enable this in that case you will see the con the properties which has been set for these uh, for your uh, web server and you can see the how many servers it is gonna connect as uh, from the web logic what all configuration is there and what is the status of those server where it has to connect so you can see the configurations are listed down here which are enabled re connection retry count two second timeout is 10 second j session id is the name debug all debug config all default five dynamic uh, server list on file caching on all these information you can see what, what all information what all configuration has been set can be viewed by using this uh, web logic bridge config info so this will also help you to identify what all uh, configuration has been set for your web server or proxy level and then you will be able to if there is some settings which needs to be changed can be then done so this is also one of the very important uh, parameters in order to to see where the problem lies in your proxy plugins so this these two parameters should always be enabled in your uh, configuration file that is your http decon file in uh, in your apache and uh, the parameters are debug all and debug config info on so if you enable this it will start writing lot of logs for you and it will be really very helpful and uh, by seeing those logs it will be you will be able to identify where the problem is and then in that case once you know the problem then it will be easy to rectify that problem hope you uh, have got the understanding how you will be able to uh, diagnose these uh, these proxy plugins issues thank you